YouTube, we are back. I am getting ready to change the Ender 3 S1 to a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Exciting, huh? Well, I've never changed this one. I, this one's always had a 0.4, so I'm a little nervous about it, but we're going after it right now. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. So right now I'm moving the head up. That way I could, uh, I'm heating the nozzle up. Right now we are going to get the filament out. Purge, 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 purge. Come on, baby. Wow, this shit's really in there, huh? What the hell is... Alright, let me um extrude some of this because for something's a little weird there and I don't feel like taking apart a uh, direct drive extruder right at the moment. So we are going to extrude some material. Alright, we are extruding. I would almost imagine a lot of you guys haven't moved to a, a bigger tip than a .4 nozzle, I should say. But it cuts your prints in half, I must say. I mean, in half. And with that being said, long prints, I mean, you could... You could, uh... Print in half the time. So now I'm going to take my handy dandy plunger and clean it out. As you can see this thing, the clogger, hands down, best tool I've ever seen. It's called the no clogger. Best tool. I mean it cleans the tips that way you don't just throw them in the garbage. I mean you can, but I buy a lot better tips and a torch. You could always put them in a torch, heat them up and uh clean them out so now that the filament is out i'm gonna move up a little more so you guys could see here let's move it up a bit more come on baby Alrighty, so can you guys see? Now you can see. Right there's the tip. I'm gonna zoom in for you. Let's see here. So there you have it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my handy dandy tool. We're going to go in there and we're going to swap out that nozzle. First things first, I got to pull down the sock. Alrighty. And this thing, this thing is by far the best. I keep all my nozzles in it. No, that's not all the nozzles I got. I got a lot more. So here we are. I don't want that point six. So we're going to go with this one okay so now if you don't have one get one it's called the crab best works the best oh well, we are gonna change my ends I'm gonna put that eight millimeter back there and drop out the six I believe it is a six nope that's a nine whoops there's the six Gonna double check. There it is. So now I got my tip ready to go. Now I'm gonna take the old one out and I'm gonna get the ish burnt out of me. Please, guys, if you have never done this before, be careful because if you do not do it right, you have to grab this heat break and hold it. You have to grab it. 
It's a little hard, but it has to be done. Okay, I'm going to need to get another pair of pliers. Where they are, I couldn't tell you. Here they are. You want to grab it at the back. So you're not squeezing any wires, any of that, and come in, and there it is, loosen it right up. Make sure you're heated up to about 230 for the S1. Alrighty, we got the point .4 out. Point .4 is out. Now we're gonna go in. Ow, that burns. Yes, woo. Okay, now here we have, I'll show you guys, 0.6. So first what I do, it's a little hard, cause you gotta move fast, you hand thread it in first, as far as you can go, without burning your little mini, your little eeny weeny mini fingers. Come back in with the pliers. Grab at the back. Snug it up. Don't kill it now. That's what a lot of people do. They try and kill it. That's it. Now, we got a point six going on. Right there. All right, we're ready to rock. Ender 3 S1.6. So now, with that being done, I have to auto home it and then re level. Anytime you put in a new tip, you want to auto level, re level, do all that gas nobody wants to do. But um, I got. A glow in a dark color I want to review and go over with you guys see what you guys think and I really don't feel like waiting three days for a model so that's where we're at right now now I'm gonna level this bad boy and why I'm let why I'm gonna level it I'm also going to uh, get this filament to show you guys here it is. So cut it open. One second, I'm just cutting this open. Okay. Alrighty, and here it is. This is some glow in the dark with glitter in it name brand um i've never done a glow in the dark honestly i've done a lot of colors but i've never done a glow in the dark i don't know why um i've never done one before but we're gonna give it a shot i've heard good things i've heard bad things um now i'm gonna get this thing leveled and uh we'll see what we got uh, like I said, I've never done glow in the dark, so I'm willing to give it a try. Um, I've always stuck to kind of the filament brands that I know work. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I'm just doing this for my own. The level, I use sticky notes. They work the best for me. I don't know about you guys, but they work the best for me. So here we are, we're going through auto level. I like to auto level first. Um, that's how I like to do it. So. But yeah, this filament here, um, as I said, I've never tried it before. I've. It. It's supposed to be glow-in-the-dark, PLA, shiny green. 
between 190 to 20 speed 30 to 60 I don't even know how to pronounce that name a molin well a molin we're gonna give you guys a try see what you're about from what I understand it's gonna um, possibly destroy my tip I don't know again never done it never did it so wow staying pretty level here too all right by the way the uh, Terminator T800 girl Ooh, look at the set she's coming out good that's a giveaway guys all you have to do is like and subscribe. I'm I just want to get monetized. That's it. That's all I want in life. So please like, subscribe. All right. We are almost done. I'm just going to go over the leveling a bit and then I'm going to fire this printer up. Guys, thanks for watching again. Please like, subscribe. Drop a comment. You could win a 3D printer or a bunch of models. So please, just click that button. Thanks.